it's still the best option to protect your organization's data in the age of ransomware. Tape is a storage and backup medium that writes computer data onto magnetic tape. Tape backups are stored offline, often at a location far away from an organization's primary data center or headquarters. Despite being one of the older backup technologies on the market, tape is still used by many organizations even today, and for good reason. For more on how to work tape into your backup and data protection strategy, click the link above or in the description below. Many organizations are opting for newer backup options like disk or cloud for faster recovery times. And while non-tape backup media have a place in data protection strategy, those backups can be compromised if they're exposed to ransomware on an infiltrated network. Ransomware can delete shadow copies, attack backup servers, and affect replicated data if the malicious software is copied onto backups. However, backups that aren't mapped anywhere on a network cannot be accessed by malicious attackers. And that's what makes tape backups a great option to protect against ransomware. Tape backups are an air-gapped backup medium or a completely offline copy of data, easily transportable and can be moved from one site to another, and cost-effective without the same hardware requirements as disk. Organizations that use tape in a layered approach to data protection and backup are in a better position to recover because ransomware cannot affect what it cannot touch. Organizations that currently use disk, cloud, or any variation of other backup media can always copy and archive data to tape as their last line of defense. This ensures that mission-critical data is safe in the event of a ransomware attack or other cybersecurity incident. Newer tape drives can also be configured as write once, read many, also known as WORM, so the data on the tapes cannot be altered or deleted. Does your organization use tape backups to keep data safe from ransomware? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments and be sure to hit that like button.